Hey everyone, just finished week 25 here at Lambda School. Build week, something new, it replaced project week, which we normally do, and it started just last Friday. And it's been a crazy week, but it's been fun, and we got so much done. Like, the energy was just amazing, um, especially with the team that I was working, on, working with. So a little bit about Build Week, if I haven't told you last week, it basically you work together with other people from different cohorts, different spots inside the curriculum, and you all build out a certain part of an app. So you have your UI developers that build out the marketing or the landing page, and then you have your front end developer, which builds the fronts for the, uh, the app itself. And then you have the back end developer, which does all the database and uh, server side stuff. And then um, the last role is the Scrum Master, uh, which, what I, which was what I was doing. And uh, it was great because you were able to reach into different areas of the app and wherever people needed help and kind of just do administrative stuff. The other two roles were not covered, including a UI UX developer and the iOS developer. We didn't have anybody on our team in those two roles. And the week itself, you basically work through four days. And then on Thursday, there's a project freeze where you're not allowed to implement any new features, but you are still allowed to style and work on existing features. And then during the week, you would have different milestones that you were trying to hit, say, deploy 80% of the endpoints and make sure that they work. Um, or build out your website uh, or set up your, your Trello board, that sort of thing. Friday, which is today, we just finished the presentations. Um, there were 10 volunteered groups that presented to the whole school. And so my group was fortunate enough to be able to present, get one of those spaces. And so I'll probably, you know, uh, overlay the, the clip of our group presenting so you guys can see. And then once the link comes up for the whole replay, YouTube replay, I will post that in the description so you guys can see as well. And I think that covers it for build week and then the roles that um, different people play. And then in terms of my experiences with it, what I liked and what I didn't like about it, um, I, I think I had a great experience, to be honest. I had a great team. They were self-sufficient and they were always reaching for more. And I had even a teammate that was learning a new technology, believe it or not, while she was doing this challenge. And I was just like, you know, I don't know if I was brave, I would be brave enough to do something like that. So we ran into problems and she still reached out and, you know, as a team, we also helped her. And then, um, yeah, it's just, I, I couldn't ask for a better team, to be honest. So I'm really thankful for that. Um, in terms of the problems that we had, I think just a random server bug with Heroku, where it was just returning a different set of information than what we were expecting. And I sat through the code with the backend developer and everything actually looked pretty good. But for some reason, it just would not come back with what we needed. So what we ended up doing was rolling back the whole server and then redeploying it and then just kind of working our way back to uh, where we want to go. And later we also got uh, JSON web tokens working as well. So pretty proud of all all my teammates, to be honest, um, they worked hard. Like uh, one of the ways that we kind of worked on the project was sitting through Google Hangouts. If you don't know, uh, it's unlimited minutes. It's free. It's uh, you can all share your screens. You can. Uh, it's really good video quality, and only one person has to have a, a Google account. The rest of the people that are guests can just kind of jump in without any problems. So I really like that and being able to sit kind of like on a second monitor with them, it felt like they were working just right next to me. And that gave me a lot of momentum to do what I did to help them out because I was in the loop. I was knowing, 
I know what was going on, uh, problems they had. And I think that's what made my team work really, really well. And I'm glad I figured that out um, while, during the week. We normally would use Zoom, but Zoom has a time limit. And it also, you can't share screens. Only one person can share the screen at one time. So I was looking for better options, came up with Google Hangouts, and it worked flawlessly. And uh, props to Google for developing that. And I think those were the good times and the bad times that we had during the week. Um, and then I guess my, my takeaway or my advice for other people who might be going through it or just kind of general tools and techniques that I used during the week that was very helpful for me. Um, the first one was GitHub organization pages. Basically, you were able to set up different repos in the organization, establish teams, and it also has its own Kanban board. And if you glance at it, you can see where everyone is in their 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 uh, progress because it's like a colored bar. And that was really useful for me. And then just having everything in one place was phenomenal because you can just go to that one website that you have bookmarked and then just go where you need to go. And then we also had a Slack channel that you know we get with Lambda. And I pinned a lot of posts on there so that we had a lot of links, color schemes, fonts, um, different roles, different milestones. And yeah, so just between those two tools, it was great. Uh, three tools if you count Google Hangouts. And I don't know, it was, it's been a great week. Um, I think the best thing is probably just get as much experience as you can, you know, developing, uh, working with GitHub, working with Git. I'll also link two courses that I did with Udacity that helped me so much with understanding how the flow of Git and GitHub works because if you can master that, like you know exactly how to make different save points during your project and it's so much more efficient than like copying files like what the other developer did on my team. Um, and I, I don't blame them because they haven't really used it a whole lot so it's okay. Um, I'll drop those two links to the Udacity courses below. Yeah, and I think that's it. Just get as much experience as you can. And again, you're going to get better and better as you go through with Build Weeks and working with other people, seeing code all the time. And I think that's all I have for you guys. And I'm actually headed international tomorrow. So the next video that you see, I will be doing labs which starts on Monday, and then uh, hanging out in another country and eating the food, enjoying the culture. So I'm really excited about that. And I hope you had a great week too. So if you have any questions or curious about Build Week at Lambda School, there's a, a lot of posts that Austin has made, and I'm sure they're going to do a lot of press release with this Build Week, a lot of like hype around it. It really is a great experience um, at the end of the day, and I'm glad that Ryan Hamblin um, implemented it so I know it was a lot of work <laughs> just working with five people on my team and then I can't imagine how, how much Ryan had to deal with so I think that's it have a great weekend be safe and enjoy some food get a lot of sleep I definitely need some and I will see you guys next Friday and I will let you know what went down on week one of Labs 10. Appreciate you for watching this video. Take it easy, and I'll see you later. Bye. Hey everyone, I almost forgot to give some credit to my awesome team. So I'd like to jump to our GitHub organization page so that you can see their great work and see who they are as well. And a funny story is that one of my teammates, who I'll, I'll link to you guys here, he watched some of the videos I had before and he said that I looked familiar and I was like oh I think I remember you as well because we had a short uh, exchange on one of the YouTube videos that I had made and I was asking you know if he was messaging me before and he said yeah you know so definitely I want you guys to check out uh, Asa of Diamonds he's uh, was the back-end developer for our team and he has a really cool channel here 
and now I I hear that he's becoming a PM starting Monday so he has a wide range of experiences and he's very deep in the curriculum so check out his channel and hit him up if you're uh, in Lambda school he's a really great guy and so for our organization page I've pinned all the projects um, at the top so you can easily access um, each member we have Steven um, Jamie and Itel who did the marketing or landing pages and then we have Matt who did the front end and then we have Asa um, or also known as Ace of Diamonds, <laughs> who did the back end. And this is our app here. You can check out the uh, different repos. And we have some really great readmes that we wrote for the Guider client deploy and the Guider server. You can check out the technologies that we use, um, some of the pictures of the app itself, and then also some of the different endpoints on the back end that you can poten potentially hit and get uh, data from. So I just wanted to add that onto this video. I know it's already 10 minutes from what I saved and so I'm just gonna tack this on because I think it's crucial and um, yeah thanks so much for watching. Again.